But we've all heard the story, right? Facebook, Google, DARPA, just tools of convenience, innovation, connecting the world. But what if I told you there's a dark secret behind these tech giants? Oh, and let's not forget the shapeshifters. Yeah, you heard me right. The official narrative says nothing about them. But what's really going on here? So how deep does this well of manipulation stretch? You won't believe how far or the shocking connections they're bearing under layers of disinformation. What comes next would not only change everything you thought you knew about these entities, but how we fight back? You may not believe it. Welcome to Truth vs. Authority. I'm Roderick Martin, TV personality, UFO investigator, award-winning podcast host, and backed by 19,100 truth seekers streaming right here on YouTube and reaching thousands of podcast listeners across 126 countries worldwide. Help me celebrate the 25K mark, but thank you for all the love and support. I'll keep bringing the truth. Get ready, because what you're about to hear, you may not believe it. We've always been told that technology is the hallmark of human progress, that every leap forward from the Industrial Revolution to the age of AI is a testament to our innovation and genius. But here's the question that they don't want you to ask. What if every so-called breakthrough was designed to push humanity further into a cage of control, not freedom? What if technology has never been about liberation but about quiet submission? But what if everything we've been told about these advancements is part of a much larger agenda? Now, according to David Icke, the real architects of the world's technological revolution aren't humans at all, but archons, non-human entities that have manipulated reality since the beginning of time. These archons control through deception, and the real deception is we believe we've been moving forward when in reality, we've been running in circles trapped in their system. Now look around. Corporations like Facebook, Google, and DARPA are presented as vanguards of progress, right? But what if they're just puppets of unseen force developing technology not to help us, but to monitor us, to control us? Now, according to the official narrative, DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, is there to keep America at the forefront of technology. But what if it's been at the forefront of something much darker? from AI, transhumanism, their fingerprints are everywhere, yet no one asked the questions who's really behind the scenes. So if the truth has been twisted for this long, we have to ask who's been pulling the string? It isn't just governments or the tech giants, it's something far more insidious. The archons use these authority figures as tools, keeping the masses ignorant while they tighten their grip. Now they've fed us a vision of technology as salvation, but it's all a facade. The goal is not to enhance humanity, but to replace it. If we don't start asking a tough question, if we don't pull back the curtains and expose this for what it really is, we'll never understand how deep the rabbit hole goes. And that's exactly what they want. They want us complacent, distracted by these shiny gadgets and the next AI breakthrough. But what's the price? What are we really giving up as we move closer to technological dystopia? Now the time is the question is now. Because once this veil lifts, the truth won't just shock you, it'll change everything. What if this isn't just about misinformation? What if the story we've been fed that technology is here to improve our lives is nothing but a smoke screen, cover for something more sinister, orchestrated by the very people we're told to trust? Governments, corporations, the media. We've been told that these advancements from artificial intelligence to social media are for our benefit. But what if there are tools of control handed down by the forces we don't see? Take DARPA, for example, the very agency that gave the birth to the internet. The official story, DARPA's innovations about national security and technological progress. But if you dig deeper, you'll find that they've been working on projects far beyond military defense. DARPA's involvement in AI, transhumanist technology is no accident. They are funneled billions into projects designed to blur the line between humans and machines. And who funded this? 
the very corporation now dominant in our lives, Google, Facebook, and others, these tech giants didn't just rise to power on their own. They were created, supported, and financed by the government agencies to serve as a hidden agenda. Now they tell us it's for convenience and safety, but what if it's all about control? Now this is drawn from Wikipedia. You can go check the internet yourself. Regina E. Dungan, born March 19, 1963, is known as an American businesswoman, inventor in technology development and government official. She was the first female director of the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, which is DARPA, where she served from July 2009 to March 2012. Now listen, Duncan began working for DARPA in 1996. Over the next four years, she led numerous a multi-million dollar research program. Her most notable research known as the Dog's Nose involved the development of an advanced portable system that could detect the explosive contents of line mines. Now in 1999, she was awarded manager of the year for her work at DARPA and in 2000, she was honored with the Bronze D. Floyd Medal by the United States Army Corps of Engineers. Now, she also received awards from United States Secretary of Defense, specifically the awards for exceptional service and outstanding achievement. Now, here's what a plot thicket. After leaving DARPA in March 2012, she was appointed to executive position at Google. In January of 2014, it was announced that Motorola Mobility would be acquired by Levino. Dugan and her team was retained by Google. She later moved on to Facebook, joining a team called Building 8. Now, what a name, Building 8. In October of 2017, she announced that she will be leaving in early 2018 to pursue other endeavors. In May of 2020, she was announced as CEO of Welcome Leap. So why hasn't anyone dared to question this? It's simple. Those in power have spent decades building this narrative, fortifying it with media machines that feed us the same story over and over. Now, anyone who challenges it is silenced. They're marginalized or branded as a conspiracy theorist. Regina Dugan, former head of DARPA, didn't just quietly shift to Google and Facebook by coincidence. She moved from the forefront of military tech straight into companies shaping our everyday lives. The same company that monitor everything we do. And let's not forget about the CIA's role in funding these corporations from the very beginning. This isn't about innovation. It's about control and surveillance and domination. And therefore, it's time to push back because the deeper we dig, the more we expose their hidden agenda. This is no longer a theory. It's a reality that they've kept from us for decades. They want us to merge with machines and to become something less human so they can have complete control over what we think, we feel, and what we do. But we ain't falling for that. The fight for the truth begins right now. This changes everything. The veil has been lifted and there's no going back. The battle to reclaim our humanity starts right now and this is only the beginning. This isn't just about what we see on the surface. The manipulation goes much deeper. It's not just about social media algorithms and data collection or targeted ads. It's about complete control over every aspect of our lives from the news we consume to the leaders we vote for. The media, the government, the corporations, they're all in on it. Take the media, for example. They've been carefully orchestrating what we see, what we hear, what we believe for decades. Now they tell us what's important and what's not and what to fear and who owns these media outlets, the same corporation conglomerates that work hand in hand with the tech giants and the government. The writing is on the wall if you dare to look closely. What's really going on here? They've infiltrated every layer of society and their influence stretches further than anyone is willing to admit. DARPA isn't just the same distant government agency developing military tech. It's at the center of transhumanist agenda. It's project funded by billions of dollars are designed to blur the line between man and machine to create a society where human consciousness itself is plugged into a system that they control. Google, it's not just a search engine. It's a surveillance machine. 
Facebook is not just a social network. It's a data harvesting operation feeding the very system that's tightening the noose around our freedom. The public thinks that these companies are here to connect us, but the truth is they're gathering data to control us. But why hasn't anyone stopped them? Because the politicians we think elect to protect us are part of the same system. The CIA funded Google's early development, injecting money into the tech scene under the skies of national security. What they really were doing was ensuring that the tools of control stayed in the hands of the few. The revolving door between Silicon Valley and Washington, D.C. is no accident. These tech giants serve as interests of the elite, not the public. And it's all connected to surveillance, the censorship, the political manipulation. The truth is staring us right in the face, but we're too distracted to even see it. The truth isn't just inconvenient, it's dangerous. The deeper we dig, the more we see how they orchestrated everything behind the curtains. This isn't just about control. It's about redefining humanity itself. From the media's manipulation of our perception to DARPA's obsession with transhumanism, they've engineered a future where humans are little more than data points plugged into a system that they can monitor and control and ultimately rewrite. Reality is manipulated. Perception is control. Every bit of information we consume has been filtered through the hands of those who control the system. But here's the kicker. They don't want to just control what we hear and see. They want to control who we are. By merging man with machines, they believe that they can create a society where free thought no longer exists, where everything is predetermined, programmed, and monitored. Therefore, if we don't continue digging, we'll never uncover what they've really truly been hiding. They want us to think it's all about convenience and about making our lives easier with AI and technology. But what's the real cost? What's the price of giving up our humanity in exchange for becoming cogs in a machine? This isn't just about the future, it's about the present. And if we don't push back now, we may never have the chance to do it again. And that's just the start. And what they're hiding goes even deeper. What if the conspiracy is even bigger than we thought? What if the real power isn't where we assumed it was? For years, we we're focused on the tech giants, media moguls, and politicians. We believed that they were the one pulling the strings, manipulating our world to serve their agenda. But what if they aren't the true architects of control? What if they're just pawns themselves and hidden behind the scenes, behind the facade of humanity authority, lurks an even more sinister force, a force that isn't even human, the reptilian agenda. These reptilian entities, as David Icke has long claimed, are not just myth or metaphor. They are very real and they are infiltrated every society. These beings, these shapeshifter creatures, have posed as our leaders, our CEOs, our presidents. Their influence stretches far beyond the government and corporations. They are the puppet masters. And the tech elites that we thought was at the top of the food chain? Nah, they are just front men for something more older, for more darker, and more powerful. Why haven't we seen this before? It's because we weren't supposed to. The reptilians have engineered the world to keep us blind to their presence, feeding off our fears and chaos and ignorance. This explains why every time someone gets close to exposing the truth, they are silenced, discredited, or worse. It's no coincidence that every major global event, every crisis, only seem to serve their agenda of control. Wars, economic crashes, pandemics, they thrive on the suffering that they create. This isn't just a battle against corrupt corporations or government surveillance. It's a battle against a hidden, non-human power structure that has been in place for millennia, shaping human history, keeping us divided and fearful and compliant. And here's the real kicker. They've already begun to merge with us. The push for transhumanism, the blend of the man and machine, isn't just about control. It's about transforming humanity itself into something they can fully dominate. This changes everything. What you thought was the ultimate conspiracy was just the surface. The truth? You won't believe who's really been in charge all along. Now the veil has been lifted. We can finally see that the tech giants, government, and the media, they were never the ultimate power, just tools in a much larger, darker game. 
The reptilians, hiding in plain sight, have manipulated our reality for millennia, shaping the world events to keep us divided, fearful, and under their control. Every time you thought you were making a choice, whether it was to trust the politician, follow a news story, or embrace the next big tech innovation, it was them that was suddenly guiding our hand, feeding off your compliance. But this isn't just about control, it's about survivor, their survivor. These reptilian entities can't survive without ignorance, without our fear. They need us to remain trapped in this false reality that they've constructed, constantly feeding us the illusion to maintain their dominance. The wars, the political chaos, the rise of transhumanism, all orchestrated to push humanity into a state of dependency to break us down, the body, the mind, until we're no longer human at all. The tech that they're pushing is not for our benefit, it's for theirs. And what does this mean for us? It means that everything we thought we knew about the world is a lie. Every decision we made, every belief we've held has been part of their master plan. Let me drive this home one more time. The surveillance systems built by corporations like Google and Facebook, they're not tools for just selling ads. They're a means of tracking, studying, and manipulating human behavior. DARPA's transhumanist projects. They're not just about enhancing human life, they're about redefining it, merging us with machines to make us more controllable, less human, and more like them. Therefore, the stakes are even higher. This isn't just about exposing corruption, it's about fighting our very humanity. The reptilians have already laid the groundwork for their end game, a society where human consciousness is plugged into the clouds, monitored, edited, and eventually rewritten. And once we've given up our free will, and once we handed over our bodies and minds to the machine, there will be no going back. So now that we stand at the brink, the truth is out. They've been controlling us from the shadows, and now they want to reshape us in their image. The tech that we embrace, the systems we've trusted, are all part of the plan to reduce humanity to a shell of its former self, a species no longer capable of independent thought, no longer aware of invisible prison that we're trapped in. Therefore, the battle isn't coming, it's already here. And if we don't act now, and if we don't push back against the agenda, we risk losing everything that makes us human. The time for ignorance is over. The fallout is clear. Their agenda isn't just about controlling our actions, it's about controlling who we are at our very core. The reptilians hidden behind the mass of governments and corporations want nothing less than a complete transformation of humanity. As I say again, they've been preparing us for a future where no longer to think, no longer feel, and no longer question. Why? Because a mind that can't think for itself is a mind that can't resist. A species that can't resist, well, that's a species that can easily dominate. But here's the real question, why now? Why this sudden rush toward transhumanism, toward merging a man and machine? What if it's because they are running out of time? What if they need us more than we need them? And what if by waking up, by resisting their agenda, we can break their control in once and for all? What are we so afraid of? I've always said it, your eyes are useless when your mind is blind. So what happens next? Hmm? Well, that's up to you. The more we question, the more we resist, the more power we take back. It starts with knowledge, but we can't end it there. You've seen the truth. Now it's time to spread it. Share this video with everyone you know, your friends, your family, anyone still in the dark. Help them see what's really going on. Now, the more voices we have, the harder we are to sour. It's time to decide. Will you stand by and watch as they rewrite humanity? Or will you rise up and join the fight and reclaim what's ours? Because make no mistake about it, the fight is already here. If you're tired of being fed the lies and you want more videos like this, come over to my personal YouTube channel. Just search for Roderick Martin, join over 19,100 truth seekers. And be sure to subscribe, turn on those alerts so that you don't miss when I go live or share something new. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. I wanna thank everybody who's got your copy of the Book of Sacred Secrets. I've been getting incredible reviews on people and how this has been helping people today. This is something that you must have in your arsenal. This book is going to be life-changing for you. It's a downloadable copy, so you'll be able to print it up, print a sheet up or whatever you want, study, take it to work, give it to someone, and maybe some in particular information. But this is something that you need in your arsenal 
go to the website. The link is right here in the description. It's also in the video as well. You gotta get your copy of the Book of Sacred Secrets. And once again, it supports the community. True information is from the cosmos, from infinite consciousness that you need to learn and you need to have in your arsenal. I wanna thank you guys for, for watching the video. Support the channel and I look to see you on the next video. And don't forget again, search for Roderick Martin. Come over to the YouTube channel so we can keep getting this information out. Thank you very much.